Yours Pop and Play was welcome back to another video. Before we jump into it, I want to do a huge shout out to Asdom. Uh, they sent me over their dash cams. So the install process for this Asdom dash cam is pretty damn simple. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I already got it mounted up and I already got it plugged in. And literally took me 20 seconds of my life. I guess the hardest part is trying to figure out where exactly you want to put it. But I put mines right here. The cool feature about this dash cam is that it has a Wi-Fi. It comes with its own SD card for you to install into it, which I think it was like a 60 gig, 60 gig uh, SD card, and that's good enough for like, I guess like six hours, seven hours of footage. So yeah, man, and it's very simple to turn on, turn off, press record, stop recording, go through your footage. Everything is super, super easy and simple. Now, if you're interested in going and get one of these dash cams, I'm gonna leave the link down below for you probably like the best thing you could do especially with how crazy the world's getting and how serious these people are driving on the streets now like people are real deal driving with no insurance so yeah this will be your insurance right here link down below go get yourself one it's the blackout Rory got the back out showing my black ass engine in the glass house started in the crack house Obama went the back route killed Bin Laden number four in the black house still got the max You're out the boys. Mask welcome back to another video man today's video i'm gonna be doing a quick little mod list video i see you guys always ask me certain things on instagram and stuff like that so i thought about it i'm like bro let me just do another updated mod list because a lot of stuff did change on dusty but a lot of minimum stuff like not stuff that's really eye catching i guess you could say but stuff did change so i'm gonna update the list and uh you guys can know what's on the car and uh what what freaking everything i'm running basically so let's get into it so nothing inside the car has changed everything inside the car is well actually no my shift knob actually changed and my carpet i swapped the carpets out for a red si mats and then my shift knob you guys remember me having a red hybrid small little one well i switched it to the daring the daring i don't even know what it's called to be honest and it's a tall version of the shift knob the white one that weighs like literally nothing um if you guys want to go pick one up go to hybridracing.com use code zuby and yeah save some money when you go buy one all right so stuff has changed from the motor as you guys can see there is no battery there i had dio shout out to him for swapping my battery he relocated my battery to the trunk for me um the reason why i wanted to do that is because literally the battery sits like right here and there's literally no space in this engine bay already so if i could get one big thing out of the way it was that and uh it made working on this car so much easier the next thing i want to do to this car is actually just clean up the wire harness um, i'm gonna bring i'm gonna be bringing the car over to Dio again he's gonna do that for me clean up the wire harness because once you clear like clear up all this wires bro the engine bay is so easy to work on everything is just there and you could you don't have to stress anymore bro like you don't got to get mad that this big old bulky freaking thing right here is in your way but yeah, that's the next thing on the list. Gonna get all that cleaned up and uh, tucked and, you know, looking nice. Because this right here just looks like a, just looks crazy, bro. Now, I don't remember me explaining my fuel setup, but I'm gonna do it here just in case I didn't. I probably did most likely, but right now on the car, I have a Dash 6 feed. And then the stock fuel line is my return. I was planning on upgrading to a Dash 8 return and keeping a Dash 6 feed. Just so I could have a little bit more, like, uh like psych my uh, what is it called so i could have a little bit more fuel cycle or fuel duty because right now i think i'm running like 95 uh duty duty cycle so yeah i was planning on doing that but at the power i'm at right now i don't want to like i feel like the car is perfect where it's at something else that was very important to my fuel setup was my injectors these are 1300 cc alpha injection clean injectors literally the best injectors that you could buy on the market definitely recommend them if you're looking for some injectors for your build v8 v6 four cylinder freaking i5 i don't know bro anything get those injectors they're badass so i remember in my last update video i didn't have that blow valve so this blow valve is a real turbo smart blow valve the blow valve i had before was a, a fake tile one there was nothing wrong with it i just wanted something that's you know blue and it was real plus my boy was selling it for pretty cheap and i couldn't like, you know i couldn't pass up an offer plus if you guys haven't heard this this thing sounds amazing i'm gonna put a clip of my car rolling bro it sounds good next thing on the car is uh i guess i'll go to the motor mounts i have full hasport motor mounts transmission rear and passenger mount 
Uh, the car feels nice. It doesn't vibrate too much. I can say it vibrates a little bit when you turn on the AC, but it's not really noticeable once you get the car moving. Um, I never talked to you guys about this little thing right here. This is, I believe, it's called your map sensor. Oh, no, that's not your map sensor. This is called your... Damn, I forgot what this is called. But I have my stock one still. It's inside the car. Uh, I upgraded to a four bar. Yeah, it is a map sensor. I upgraded to a four bar Skunk 2 map sensor because I believe the stock map sensor only allows you to run up to like 10 PSI or something like that, bro. I'm not a tuner. I don't really know. Next on the list, you guys see the cash can setup. This is my level seven performance oil cap. Well, oil cap catch can, I guess. But yeah, um, I have it routed down to the cash can, which is sitting where the battery will usually sit. Um, like I said before, the battery's in the trunk, so it makes that perfect. And then, as you guys can see, the headlight's right there, and you still don't see the filter of the cash can. So meeting, ain't blocking no view of anything. The air is still going in perfectly fine, straight into my intake. All right, so the gearbox setup is a stage three Ashton clutch. I have upgraded third and fourth BF gears, so I can hold the power, usually third and fourth, or third or fourth is the gears that usually go bye-bye when you make some good little torque. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't have that experience, so I'll just upgrade it right away. Um, I did the synchros, the sleeves, the hub, and something else I can't remember off the top of my head, but I had Renato built the transmission. Shout out to that boy. I'm going to do a quick shout out to uh, my boy FB6IA on Instagram. I forgot his business name exactly, but uh, he hydro dipped the radiator cover for me and, and my uh, ECU cover along with my shifter bezel. Don't mind the dirty car, you guys. I literally just came off of work, but he also did my shifter bezel. That thing look fire. Look at that. Chee! Oh, also, I am running a, uh, a AEM boost controller. You guys can see the boost controller right there. Well, the boost solenoid right there. And then the line is right there. I have a nice little clean setup. You can't even see it, which is what I really, really like about it. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put it right here. You guys go check it out. Pretty fun video. For the exterior of the car, car is still pretty much the same. Nothing changed. Uh, that's what I'm actually trying to work on now. I'm trying to get Dusty back to how she used to look when she used to look freaking just amazing. And most definitely, I gotta clean up the engine bay. Like, I have a valve cover sitting in the room for the past year now. I need to repaint my RBC manifold because as you can see, it is chipping everywhere. Um, I don't know why I did that. I, I don't know. I gotta figure out the proper ray so to wrinkle paint that thing i need to clean up my headlight again which is an easy fix just need to sand it and polish it one more time but yeah i need to pop off the bumper first because i don't want to scratch up the bumper while doing that but yeah definitely need to fix this this is no bueno still in the same wheel setup I'm actually thinking about selling these wheels and get something else like some gram lights or something like that i really want something nice I want you guys to leave some wheel suggestions down below in the comments. Let me know what wheels I should get. Should I get some ground lights, RPF ones? Just throw some stuff down there. Please don't say, please don't say TEs, cause I ain't got TEs money, dog. I ain't that rich. I, speaking of fat, matter of fact, I ain't rich at all. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Now this is the main question I get. What the fuser do you run, bro? What is that? That is clean. This is the Snow Arrow Most or snow arrow moist <laughs> pause but yeah that's his diffuser i got on the car also got a video on that if you guys head to the channel or you know i'll put it right here in case you guys can't find it but yeah 250 dollars i believe or 210 dollars best diffuser ever it looks so good makes the car look so aggressive now i still have the same arrow flap nothing changed this is probably my favorite part of the car makes the rear look aggressive as well this whole like the whole back of the car just looks mean but um i am willing to trade this whole setup i'm willing to trade the trunk the flap everything just for a carbon fiber trunk so if you're willing to go back to stock and get rid of your carbon fiber trunk hit me up i'll put some money on top i'm not gonna lie Not gonna lie, I really been wanting some carbon fiber parts. Like I've been looking at hoods and stuff like that, but the funds ain't funny. Since we're already talking about the back of the car, I might as well show you guys the trunk setup. Well, the battery setup. So don't mind everything here. Car is a mess. Bro, my oil's leaking out. No. Alright, so like I was saying before, I found out all my oil spilled in my damn car. Um, here's the battery setup. 
as you guys see it's a bigger battery because obviously you need to run the power from the back all the way to the front and this is a group 34 battery as you guys can see right there now one thing i forgot to mention to you guys was my k tune three inch exhaust uh this is all sounds so damn good and it's discontinued so it makes it a little bit more special i honestly think this is the best sounding exhaust you could get for your knife gen it just sounds amazing next thing on the list is these uh reflector lights if you guys haven't seen the video of me installing those go check it out bought those lights for 30 bucks on ebay and they are like really good better than the old set i used to have the old set i used to have does not do anything that these do but yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Well, all right, you guys, I think I went over everything done to the car, everything that's new done to the car. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end off the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram, Matt underscore got the soda. Head to my merch site, www.zuvigarage.com. And your boy's out. Peace. Yeah. Trouble on my mind. Yes, I got trouble on my mind.